in this video we're looking at the OMA owned Buckle Stampede tanker truck which is a 22,000 liter diesel carrier that's on the back of the flatbed which is a Buckle Stampede so come along The first thing we note is that the front end of the truck is the same as the Buckle Stampede flatbed for the containers. The interior is identical. So the real difference comes with the tank that's on the back. So in this case, there's a 22,000 liter tank on the back with three individual compartments that you could fuel up individually up here or fuel up using this hose connector. Now the, you, it has this uh, balancing button. So when you press this, all the tanks will more or less come within a tolerance. Now you don't wanna leave it on going like this, otherwise your battery is gonna drain. But it, so you turn it off, but obviously it's good for uh, leveling it out and balancing the weight out. So in this case, we're pretty much evened out. Now you could pump out using this button here and now we watch the fuel level if we plug it into the diesel here this is the pump in and press this button you see that this number starts to rise and likewise this is going down if we stop that this also stops and it comes with its own hose which is convenient now if we hop into the driver's seat and start it up you see that it has a automatic transmission. You put it into drive. And then it has performance mode, which just utilizes 100% of the engine. It's funny for this massive rig to have a performance mode, but it's not for racing. It's just for hill climbing or anything that requires more engine power. And there is a towing low gear mode, even though there's no trailer hitch, the mode is just called towing mode. What it does is it uses, it's a hybrid mode that uses a different gearing ratio so it's not meant for normal driving and it uses little electric uh, motors as well so it's a hybrid method mode because there's also electric motors that are powering it as well now we have the hexa steer function that automatically engages at speeds lower than 50 kilometers an hour i believe but all the wheels will turn so it's good for maneuvering in a very tight space but once we exceed say the 50 now it's no longer engaging so you could leave this on indefinitely if you so desire we have a GPS there's the heat and there's even mood lighting inside which it's a luxury feature but because at OMA we like uh, some luxury and fine things we have the mood lighting in here as well now we're going to park over here next to this uh, OMA diving boat. We'll throw it into park, turn off the engine here, and hop out. We've taken out all the fuel out of that little, tr little boat down there, so we'll plug that in and pump the fuel out. And come down here and just give it a shot. There we go. So we're fueling it up. I believe this boat has 4,000 liters and the truck has 22,000 liters. So this is the primary use of this uh, truck is to fuel up the, the fleet of OMA boats and ships and even planes and other vehicles. So it's useful for an organization like OMA to have its own tanker trucks as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more creations. As always, uh, happy stormworksing.